What is water softener regeneration? <laughs> now I've got a plastic tube to help sort of demonstrate this for you. But water softener regeneration, water softener companies will talk about it and the customer, I can watch their faces, they go, huh? And so I want to just explain it to you very simply. Basically, when you look at a water softener, we have what's called resin inside. And when the water droplet passes through, it's called ion exchange. The rock pops off of the water droplet, attaches itself to the filter material, and as you can see, as it passes through here, more and more rock attaches to the water, to the resin. So as it's attached itself to the resin, you can sort of see here that here we have basically, it looks a little like this, the rock fills this up, and then at the bottom it's basically still good, clean resin. But when it needs to clean itself, we need to use the word regeneration which means we're regenerating that filter material to make it like new again. So how do we do that? It's very simple. Basically, in a salt tank, we have been melting or dissolving the salt into a liquid form. So it's salt water. Then we draw that salty water and we push it through the filter material. And when we do that, the salt pushes the rock off the resin material and then it goes down your drain. So the regeneration process means we're drawing salty water from a salt tank and bringing it into the, into the water softener in order to exchange or pop the rock off and then flush that down the drain. So simply put, it's a very important process when you want to have a water softener work correctly. If you're not using salt, if the salt's not going down but you're using a lot of water, that's a sign your regeneration process is not working. If you have any further questions, always write to me, send me a message, uh, you can call us. Uh, my name is Drew, as you know, I'm here to serve you.